Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the new and anticipated MH15, a 2000 lumen power bank flashlight. This is an entry level flashlight with a single button for user friendly functions and it's perfect for nighttime safety. With a 2000 lumen max output, you're able to have enough brightness to be able to look around. And with its 272 year max throw, you are able to detect hidden hazards for a quicker reaction time. And lastly, this also comes with a beacon and SOS mode for emergency situations. Let's get right into it. Now, what comes in the box? You have the MH15, the USB-C cable that you can use to charge the MH15 and also use it as a power bank to charge other electronic devices, as well as this lanyard. Now let's look at its features. At the top, you have an SST40 LED bulb that gives you that nice white bright light. And on top of it, it utilizes an optical lens system with various facets like that honeycomb looking transparent cover that pretty much controls the light and gives it a more directional lighting. Now coming down, the body is made out of PC material and the head is made out of aluminum alloy, making it the perfect combination for it being lightweight and durable. It is also equipped with a clip some might argue that it's bulky, but I like it as it is able to be stored in a pocket or a bag due to its deep pocket clip design with no problem at all. At the bottom, you have this wrench that protects the tail switch and prevents accidental activation. Here you have this single button that controls the four brightness levels and two special modes with these four power indicators on the tail that indicate the remaining battery power. And right here, you can attach the lanyard that it comes with as well as the capability of tail standing. Lastly, this thing has a built-in 5,000 milliamps per hour, 21,700 high capacity lithium ion battery. You have this dual way USB-C port right here with fast QC charging. It comes with a power supply of a max output of 18 watts that you can use as a power bank for fast charging to be able to charge your iPhone or other electronic devices. All you do is you grab the USB-C cable it comes with and you connect it to an external power supply, for example, a USB adapter, and you connect it to the charging port to begin the charging process. What I really like about this slide is the fact that it's an entry-level flashlight, therefore the functions are very user-friendly. With one single hand, I can easily turn it on and off, access any mode, as well as beacon and SOS modes. That's very easy to do. Now, I'm not a big fan of the clip, but it can be useful in many scenarios, especially for traveling. I can easily put it in my my pocket or in a strap or my backpack so it definitely is very convenient and like the coolest part about it is the fact that it's a power bank and because it has an 18 watt output and high capacity you can charge your phone or other devices and although it does have lockout mode i don't think it's necessary to use as it has this protective ridge around the tail switch that prevents accidental activation overall i think this is the perfect entry level flashlight as it has a lot of functionality very professional but yet very easy to use now let's look at the user interface and operation guide. How do you turn it on? When the light is off, you long press the tail switch to turn it on, like so. Now when the light is on, to cycle through the different modes, you short press the tail switch to go from the following brightness levels, low, medium, high, and turbo. And then you long press it again to turn it back off. The MH15 has SOS and beacon modes. How do you access those? When the light is on, you triple press the tail switch to access SOS. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go, you're on SOS mode. So now to go to the beacon mode, all you do is short press the tail switch and then you're in beacon mode. Now when either special mode is on, long press the tail switch to turn off the flashlight, like so. Now this thing does have lockout mode to prevent accidental activation. So to access that, when the light is on, you long press the tail switch until the light flashes two times to indicate that you have access to the lockout mode, boom, boom. It doesn't function, but it flashes once to indicate that it's in lockout mode. Now to unlock it, you short press and then long press the tail switch until the light flashes five times and you have access to the memorized brightness level, which you last left it on. Now that being said, it does have memory function. The flashlight will directly access the previously memorized brightness levels when you reactivate it. Now when you are charging it and it's in lockout mode, it will automatically be unlocked. Like I had mentioned before, this does have power indication. When the light is off, you just short press the tail switch 
and those little poor power indicators will indicate the battery levels. Now, when it's four constant on, it's between 75% to 100%, three constant on, 50% to 75%, two constant on from 25 to 50%, and one constant on from zero to 25. Now, the best part, this serves as a power bank. Now, it is able to charge mobile phones, tablets, or other devices very quickly, as this only takes an hour and a half to fully charge. Then you can use the bi-directional USB port to connect to an external device. Now, lastly, let's look at the specs of the MH15. First, you have low for five lumens, 200 hour runtime and 14 yard throw, mid for 50 lumens, 24 hour runtime and 60 yard throw, high for 350 lumens for a six hour and 30 minute runtime and 120 yard throw, and turbo for 2000 lumens, 45 minute runtime and 273 yard throw. Now the Beacon and SOS modes are both 2000 lumens. The MH15 is IP68 rated. You're able to submerge this for up to six feet for 30 minutes and it works perfectly in extreme environments. So you have nothing to worry about. You have all those functions and it's still very compact, weighing in at only 4.94 ounces. The length of this thing is 4.61 inches. The head diameter is 1.18 inches and the tail diameter is at 1.08 inches. That pretty much wraps up the review for the MH15. If you found this video informative, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.